kind of performance with a normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? So funny story. I pulled my phone out just now. Amanda looks and goes, oh, fuck, and then looks the other way again. <laughs> What's wrong, hon? What's the matter? <laughs> Anyways, so, <laughs> it's pretty fucking gross. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Amanda's just cleaning the inside of the cab out on the uh, 4020 here of Uncle Henry's. We're done everything we had to do last night. Dad and I put a brand new tack in it, ordered off of the eBay, and it's got the proper uh, green and red on the indicator instead of just being the white line on there. So that's kind of nice. And it was 150 bucks instead of like 1100 that John Deere wanted. So <laughs> anyway, one of you guys was asking if I could show the heater setup on this tractor a little bit. And I said I could, so the heater down in the corner of the cab here, it's just a, a simple three-speed heater, came from Princess Auto. Uh, I mean, any, I think Harbor Freight is what you guys call it down in the States. So, there's just two coolant lines in and out. They ran it through the a hole here. And, it's kind of hard to see now with the hood on, but, They've just got it tied in. They tapped a hole in the water jacket there and then put a fitting on it to turn it on and off. And that's what feeds it. And then the return side of it, they tied in right here with a plastic fitting. This isn't how I would have done it, but this is how they did. Whatever. <laughs> that's one way of doing it. So, And then that's where the coolant returns back into the system. So. It uh, it works really good actually in there. I mean, for as good as these sh shitty old cabs were, it, uh, it it warms it up in there pretty nice. So if uh, it was our tractor, we would move it and have it up inside of the uh, where the cab fan and everything is, and then your heater and everything would be using those vents instead of just blowing down in the corner here. But whatever for how much Uncle Henry uses it, it's not going to be a, an issue. So, uh, we had the glass guy here yesterday, but he broke his tool. He's putting new rubber gaskets on the windows. See, the front one here is ready to come out basically. And then, same with this back window, it's all coming apart. So, he's got to do uh, the front window and this back one yet, and this one here, but he got that one done. These front window seals are in good shape yet, so we're not going to worry about them. But, uh, yeah, today's going to be a, a 40-20 party, I think, so. <laughs> I'm going to run a uh, cord outside here and plug in this other 4020 across the way here. It's here for a paint job from Foam Lake, so we're going to get that in here and start on it. And uh, our 4020 has to come back in so we can finish the lid on the battery box. It got kicked out early because we had to bring this in since the glass guy was coming yesterday. So, anyway, that's what's going on today. Uh, yeah, kids are cleaning the floor. Bring you back in a few. Yep. Daddy, what is? What? What? So. I just cleaned the uh, floor in here. I should have done it before, I guess. You can kind of see where I couldn't get real good, though. How dirty that was, I just done it real quick. Because, I mean, this is kind of wore out crap in here. But whatever. It still looks good when it's cleaned up a bit. I just use this. Fuck, does it work good. You scrub the hell out of it. And then uh, I just suck it up with the vacuum after and... It strips the stuff right off of there. Man, does it do a nice job. That's what I use in the 4440 and the 46 and all of them to clean stuff up. So just done a real quick go on this because like I said, if I clean too hard, it might disintegrate. So <laughs> I just done the main area here and by the clutch. So 
helps a bit cleaning her up, that's for bloody sure. So anyway, I'm gonna run some cords out to the tractors now. Well, it's quite a bit later on in the day here, so let's uh, see what this girl has to say. It's been sitting here since, fuck, I don't know, October. <laughs> See if we're stuck in the fucking snow drift now. <laughs> Might have to dig our way out. One forty twenty, two forty twenty. <laughs> so this tractor here, a gentleman is from Australia, but the tractor is from Foam Lake, which is a long fucking way from here yet, just the same. But he would like to see it get painted. It's in pretty good shape, but I mean, uh, a paint job would freshen it up quite a bit, so we're gonna do that to it. And I've got a hydraulic valve in the shop that we're gonna mount on it here with the levers, just like how our 4020 is. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for it, straighten out his bent muffler and it's ready to fall right off. <laughs> so we'll straighten all that out for them and uh, a couple dints in the hood will knock out front tires are pretty well shot so we'll uh, probably change them and yeah that's the plan for this one you know not too too much we have to do to it but uh definitely still a little bit anyways so Pretty cool tractor, factory three remotes, three point hitch, 4020. So, pretty cool. Only way it'd be cooler if it, is if it was a power shift. So, anyway, nice big fat tires on the back of two 20.834s instead of 18.434s like our 4020 has. So, anyway, some of you were asking uh, to hear how 4020 here turns over now with the. Uh, Two new Group 31 batteries, 1100 cranking amps. We got a solenoid that's uh, shot on here now, but. Fires right off. So I'm gonna let 
him percolate for a little bit because it's going to come in the shop now, I think. And Uncle Henry's 4020 will be uh, coming out. I just wanted this one here to be uh, a bit closer so I could plug it in. I didn't need such a long cord strung out across the yard that way. And all these bolts here are loose and I really, really, really don't like these loaders. Dad used to have one on this tractor and then they got the, the lay-on. So you can see how much bigger that lay-on is. Way, way better loader than the John Deere. But whatever. For what that guy does by the sounds of it, it's all the loader he needs. So good enough. Anyway. Talk to you again in a few. Well, I lied to you, I guess. Our 4020 won't be coming in quite right yet. Uncle Henry just keeps bringing over projects. So. <laughs> uh, he brought over these two mirrors. And he'd like us to put them on the cab here somewhere now. However, we'll have to figure out a way so that you don't climb up and peel your head open on a, on a mirror. I don't know. There... Maybe putting them back here, as long as they're out far enough, that should still be all you need then, so. I don't know, we'll figure it out, right? Well, you say a lot. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so I guess that'll kind of put a, a dampener to that real quick here, I, whatever, so minor details, I guess, but. I guess that's where I'm probably going to leave you for this video. I don't have too much else to talk to you about. I wanted to do a nothing but a 4020 episode and show those couple of things there, like the heater and how the tractor starts and whatnot, uh, some of you were requesting. So, anyway, I guess that's where I'm going to leave you. So, thank you much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe for more. And we'll talk to all of you in the next one.